Okay, Baker Street, uh, such a great song written by the late Jerry Rafferty from 1978. Uh, some of us might even remember before that, uh, Jerry Rafferty was in a band called Steeler's Wheel and they had a big hit called Stuck in the Middle with You. But Baker Street definitely is a big, big hit. And a uh, fun fact that uh, uh, after it was a hit, uh, I read somewhere that uh, saxophone sales increased worldwide by about 40%. So that uh, tells us a lot of people uh, uh, started playing the saxophone simply from hearing this song. Uh, it was done on an alto originally on that recording and that brings me to the reason for why I did this update. On this song Baker Street, uh, the original key was in D that alto note, ba -ba -da, the high note, that's the D on the alto, which is up there. Um, on the tenor, that key really sucks because you're down here. Right? Uh, if you did it an octave higher, which is your other option, that gives you a high G, altissimo G, and uh, even if you can hit that altissimo G, uh, it, it's hard and it's not a lot of fun. This update includes two different versions now, two newer versions. The one in uh, the original key of D and then down a tone for C, uh, in C, and which is the one I recommend for everyone playing on the tenor sax because it's going to allow you to instead of you know in the middle in the middle range it's not screaming enough it's going to allow you to do this up here right it's up there closer to where the alto sound is so on this new download page uh, when you get there um, you know uh, if you're a tenor player download the one that says recommended for the tenor which will allow us to play that uh, high F. Much more closer to that sound because if you, if you remember my video I did of this song, I played the alto sax uh, and the, uh, on, the, on those parts um, and I played the tenor on the, on the vocal melody because had I played the tenor on it, on the, on that part, it wouldn't have sounded right, and I wanted to sound right, more like the record, so I used the alto because that's the range it's in. Well, this is uh, this new version now can get you really close to that screaming high line, right? Now, a lot of people call that uh, that sax line in, in, in Baker Street uh, a sax solo. Uh, you know, it's not a sax solo, it's a sax line written specifically for that part, for those parts in the song. Uh, it's a very uh, deliberate line, it's not an improvised solo by any means. There is a solo in this song, but it was done on the guitar. And the, I actually transcribed those guitar notes from the guitar solo, so you can play that guitar solo on your sax. Gets up kind of high too, so uh, if you're good at the altissimo, you're going to need it uh, on the tenor. If not, you can get by by playing it in the lower uh, octave as well. Obviously download both keys. Um, I know some people are playing with bands uh, and they're playing with uh, you know a guitar player friend or a piano player friend. Uh, you know they're probably going to want to play it in the original key so it's good for you to have the original key as well uh, but if you're playing at home just with the backing track um, by all means make sure you uh, also download the, this new recommended one for the tenor players because that's going to put you in the best key allowing you to wail up on that high F. Mm -hmm.